Hi there, this is Papa Alpha 8 Whiskey and in this short video I'd like to show you uh, the advantages of a amplitude radio direction finder compared to a pseudo Doppler. We are looking at a SDR tuned to a UHF frequency, a digital signal about 30 kilohertz wide and therefore very difficult to locate with a pseudo Doppler. A pseudo Doppler direction finder uses a receiver in FM mode, narrowband FM, and the bandwidth of that receiver will be about 12 to 15 kilohertz or something like that. Way too small to cover the 30 kilohertz of this digital signal. Therefore a pseudo Doppler is not suitable for tracking signals like this. So let's take a look how a amplitude radio direction finder does the job. Right now I'm using a AM receiver tuned to a frequency just below the signal I just mentioned and connected to it is a RDF 43 originally designed for uh, pseudo Doppler systems but it can also cope with a AM system as you will see. We're tuned a bit below and in steps of 5 kilohertz we'll step up in frequency and you'll see that at some point the signal comes through the squelch. We're now tuned to the bottom edge of that signal and we already have a bearing of about 30, 31 degrees. 5 kilohertz up and an extra 5 kilohertz up another 5 up another 5 up you will notice that the bearing will hardly change it will be within a few degrees 5 kilohertz up we're now at the edge the upper edge of the signal So it's clear to see that the amplitude direction finder can cope easily with a signal that's much wider than the receiver bandwidth. See you next time. Bye bye.